Right guys, I've decided to convert this servo to full 360 degree or continuous rotation. It gives me a little problem because I've already sealed it in place with hot glue. So I'm going to spend a few minutes softening that hot glue so I can take it apart again. Then I can get the servo into the three pieces. Because there's a bottom, a centre section and a top. And because I've glued it right where the top and the bottom join together, or top and the middle join together, I'm going to have to take the hot glue off again. Right, got it out again. So now I'll finish undoing the screws and we can get it apart. These are really cheap servos that I buy from eBay. And <laughs> I've just noticed this one's only got three screws in the base. It's missing one. But it still worked, so... We'll carry on. The screws were actually quite hard to get moving to begin with, but I've already started them, so they're moving okay now. So, what we've got top end, we've got the gears, and just there, I'll do a close up in a second, is the mechanical stop, the little tag that sticks there and stops the servo turning full 360 degrees. So if I ease that off, and I can see it just there. So I need to cut that off, which you can do with a knife or a pair of cutters. Let's see if I can do it with a knife. You want to be careful not to damage the other teeth. That feels a bit hard. Some small cutters here. Let's see if they'll do it. There we go. So there we are. Possibly just see the remains of where that little tag was. So I've cut that out of the way. So we can just put that straight back on. keyway on it this one. There we go. So that's now free to do the th full 360 degree rotation. So that's that bit done. Now the electrics. So we can get the bottom off. And the sticky label stopping it coming off. bit of circuitry that operates the servo and in this case it's those three black wires that go down in there to the potentiometer which we don't need anymore but we do need that's interesting one of those black wires has fallen off anyway we do no, need those three tags just there. Is that better? Yeah. Those three tags that those three black wires should be on. And we're going to replace the three black wires with two 2.2k resistors. So we don't need those anymore. them off out the way. If 
you really wanted to you could try and get that right out but we don't need to but we do need to attach the two resistors onto there so I'll just have a look in my box of resistors for two 2.2k ones if you're not confident on your colour coding or you're just not confident with the quality of the resistors it's always a good idea to check with a meter these have actually got 2.2k written just there so I'm fairly confident just go across one of them there we go that's close enough for me bearing in mind that's a cheap um, meter anyway so they came in at was that 2.19 it said then? But they both came in the same. So that's fine. We need three legs. So the easiest thing to do is just twist. Them together. Hold them back, and we need to solder them onto there. So I'll just trim them a bit shorter, just get a bit of solder on those tags, make sure they're okay. I've seen better days. Used to be my dad's, so they're pretty old. Just tin those. Right. Can we do this and keep it in focus? Two, three. I'll just inspect that, make sure they're all in place. That looks fine. So we'll see if we can pop it back in the hole without breaking any more wires off. back on. Not very impressed with the way those bits of wire fell off just now. That's the lid back on. So I'll put the screws back in and we'll try it out. So quick check. Got a little servo tester here. Uh, three AAA batteries to power it. There's our servo. So, one way. Stop. The other way. So, looks like we have success. So I'll stick it back in the boat and we can try it out. Looks a bit to me like it might tend to drift if I'm not careful. 
but that depends on how the transmitter is set up for the neutral position. But there we go, how to convert your servo to continuous rotation or 360 degree rotation. Just add two 2.2k resistors to replace the potentiometer and cut out little peg that stops the gear going all the way around. There's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do it. The only reason I've done one of my own is I actually need it for this boat that I'm building. I'll just give this fishing line, fishing rod, recovery arm, whatever we want to call it, give it another little test here. Again, the sharp-eyed members of my audience will recognise that we're not on the boating lake. We're in my conservatory. A little bit of testing and I've actually found the easiest way to adjust the position of the arm is to use the trim because if I use the actual throttle in this case it's a bit too a bit too violent. If I just use the trim then I can move it around quite nicely. you want very little adjustment so we're only looking at repositioning the arm a small amount at a time I think you've got the general idea. As I say, on the water it will be totally different anyway because you don't need the same sort of effort to move anything around. This is just to align it round the back so that when we have recovered the vehicle or the boat we can use forwards to come back to shore. So I guess we're going to have to try it in the boating lake next.